So there's this funny paradox in pre-med education in the United States, and it's this. The MCAT is supposed to test you on what you learned in college, and the courses you take in college are supposed to prepare you for the MCAT. Yet the way they assess your knowledge and preparedness to move on in your education are completely different. So different, in fact, that you could go straight from being an A-plus student in college to totally tanking the MCAT without the right preparation. It's confusing, and it requires an important shift in your thinking that, if you miss, could see you wasting a lot of study time. Thankfully, however, the fates have seen fit to land you here on this video, where I'm going to tell you the three key differences between your college course exams and the mighty MCAT, followed by our secret source to acing this notoriously tricksy exam. Hi, I'm Thea Beckman, a learning coach with Brainscape, the world's smartest study and flashcard app. If you haven't yet discovered our certified MCAT flashcards, go check them out today because they will help you memorize the essential facts twice as efficiently as you would using traditional study techniques. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel for even more game-changing advice on acing the MCAT and beyond. With that said, here are three key differences between the college courses you're used to and the MCAT. The first being that MCAT questions love to overlap subjects. In undergrad, your science subjects like chemistry, molecular biology, and physics are completely independent of one another. You're pretty much never going to find a molecular biology question on your physics exam and vice versa. The MCAT, however, is a different story. It loves questions that test your knowledge of all subjects at all levels and how they intertwine with each other. So take, for example, amino acids, the most famously high yield topic on the current MCAT and one of the only topics that is tested heavily in both the chemistry, physics and biology, biochemistry sections of the MCAT. Now, in theory, amino acid questions fall under biochemistry, but the test makers can also write amino acid questions that require you to understand functional groups, which is an organic chemistry concept, or they can write amino acid questions that require biology knowledge or general chemistry and so on. As for the reason MCAT examiners like cooking up these kinds of overlapping questions, well, it's because in real life, the diagnosis and treatment of patients involves a complex blend of all the sciences. So really the MCAT is teaching you to think like a doctor, and that's pretty cool. The second important difference between pre-med courses and the MCAT is that the MCAT requires strong content knowledge and critical thinking skills. Oftentimes, college students focus on just memorizing the content because that's what you're taught to do in college. If you know the content well enough, you're virtually guaranteed to pass the exams. And so students prioritize memorization over practice when really those critical thinking skills are just as important. So every study schedule should contain equal measures of content learning, which you can do really efficiently with Brainscape certified MCAT flashcards, more on that in just a bit, and skills practice, which you can do by working through MCAT style practice questions and AAMC full length exams. The third important difference between college courses and the MCAT is that you'll probably see materials showing up in the MCAT's CARS sections you've never encountered before in any previous test or textbook. Now, usually this incites major panic, which is hardly surprising. If a concept or a molecule comes up that you've never seen before, chances are you're gonna think it's because you missed something when you were learning the content. But this is often not the case with the MCAT. This test loves to throw out new concepts and then sit back and wait to see if you can hunt down the necessary information that's right there in front of your nose within the context of the question passage itself. So don't default to thinking that a wrong answer is due to a lack of content knowledge on your part. This way of thinking is really forged in college where everything that shows up in your exams has been taught to you before and therefore should be familiar to you. The MCAT, on the other hand, often throws out passages that contain information students have never learned before. So just remember that and invest as much energy learning the facts as you do practicing MCAT style questions. This brings me to a crucial nugget of advice that can really help you tackle all of the required science content so much more efficiently. Use Brainscape's pre-made collection of MCAT flashcards to master that science content. 
Together with a team of MCAT prep experts, we've distilled down the latest MCAT test plan into a collection of 4,200 smart flashcards, which have been organized into 72 decks that cover every major subject area tested by the MCAT. These flashcards capture the most essential science content you need to know and leverage spaced repetition to help students memorize content twice as fast as those who rely on traditional study techniques. And being an app on your device, you can use Brainscape to learn anytime, anywhere to bank those facts. So prioritizing only the most essential information and drilling you on it using a spaced repetition system that's personalized to your pace of learning, Brainscape can help you learn twice as fast, which frees up a lot of time for other important things like practicing questions. So there are three fundamental differences between college courses and the MCAT that you really need to know ahead of embarking upon your test prep. The first is that MCAT questions love to overlap subjects, whereas college exam questions are more discreet in nature. The second is that the MCAT requires strong content knowledge and critical thinking skills, whereas college exams tend to strongly prioritize content knowledge. And the third difference is that college exams will only ever test you on content you've seen before, whereas it's not uncommon to see brand new concepts coming up in the MCAT cars section. Don't freak out. Scour the passage for the information or context you need to answer the question. And finally, use Brainscape certified MCAT flashcards to drill yourself anytime, anywhere, so that you can learn as efficiently as possible. For even more differences between college and the MCAT, because believe it or not, there are lots more, check out our full guide on this topic, link in the show notes below. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel and all that good stuff. Finally, remember this. The skills the MCAT is trying to test you on are crucial in medicine. When faced with a patient or scenario, you'll need to stitch together a deep understanding of all the sciences, from molecular biology to organic chemistry, in order to diagnose the problem and recommend an intervention. For this reason, the MCAT seeks to teach you to think like a doctor, which is beyond exciting. And you can rise to that challenge efficiently with brain scanning.